when you're facing a medical emergency. Time is critical. Every minute matters. And today, time is on your side because Northcrest Medical Center is ready 24-7. We have the experience and expertise to act decisively and the leading edge technology crucial for life-saving surgery, letting you get back to the life you love. Northcrest Medical Center, bringing exceptional care to our community. A White House teenager is in the fight of his life following a rollover crash that has left him with no feeling from the chest down. I uh, responded to a one vehicle rollover. Uh, we're just a little south of rides. Um, from what I understand, uh, the driver was heading northbound and struck uh, that utility pole over there. And I don't know how many times it rolled or that's how it ended up right there. There's two, uh, two people that's been transported. One is in serious condition. Uh, another one is uh, has just uh, Basically, he's got glass all over him. He's got some punctures and some lacerations, but I believe, I believe he's going to be all right. But uh, they had to extricate engine. Uh, the engine company personnel had to extricate the driver of the vehicle. So he was trapped inside. Yes. The crash occurred just before 2 p.m. Monday. The driver, Brian Mullins of White House, who just turned 19 in March, was pinned under the van. With the wet road condition, somehow the vehicle left the roadway and impacted a utility pole. Springfield police who investigated the crash are not sure how many times the vehicle rolled before it came to rest on its side. When the vehicle finally did stop, Mullins was partially pinned underneath and had suffered a broken neck. Robertson County EMS and Springfield Fire were on the scene quickly and freed Mullins. He was transported to Vanderbilt Medical Center in Nashville. Since Monday, the teen has already had two surgeries to try to repair the damage, but at the moment, he has no feeling from the chest down. And now the community is reaching out to the family with emotional and financial support. If you're viewing this report on our main website, then simply scroll down for information about a GoFundMe page that has been set up for the family, support bracelets, and a pancake breakfast set up for this Saturday. The Mullins family reached out to Smokey Bar News with a message to the community. We want to thank everyone for all the prayers, love, and support they have shown. We appreciate your continued prayer. Brian is a strong-willed young man and will do whatever it takes to recover. Thank you all again for thinking of Brian during this difficult time. As more information becomes available about Brian's continued progress, we will certainly bring it to you. And remember, when you're looking for news that's important to you, turn to the news leader in Robertson County, Smokey Barn News. The Robertson County Sheriff's Office is pleased to be a part of the Stop the Litter program sponsored by the Tennessee Department of Transportation. Our litter crews are working hard across the county to keep Robertson County beautiful through litter pickup and dump site cleanups. Stopping unsightly litter ties in with our office's mission of enhancing and protecting the quality of life of our citizens. In 2016, we collected over 133 tons of litter throughout the county. Please utilize trash cans, place tarps over trailers and truck beds while transporting loose trash and debris, and dispose of unwanted waste at landfills or nearest convenience centers. If you see an area that needs to be cleaned up, feel free to call us at 615-384-7974 or email us at stoplitter at robertsonsheriff.com. It is important that all of us work together to keep Robertson County clean and preserve it for our children and the future generations. Please help us stop litter!